So what is Mary's legacy? It's felt in at least two ways. There is, of course, the living legacy of Eunice, Ethel, and their families. You know, I have five grandchildren, and when we have family gatherings, we line the kids up. And uh, they all know, they say it in unison sometimes, yeah, we know, Grandma, she's our great, 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 great <laughs> grandmother. <laughs> That's how my kids do. And they know about the lawsuit. 44 and a half cents, but she never got the money. Then there's her legal legacy as represented by the 1821 Supreme Court decision. We've already said you can't possess a slave here, you can't create a an ownership interest in Indiana. Uh, we're certainly not going to count as people wiring around that by signing these indentured servitude agreements. It's just, it's just not, it's just too cute by half, and we're not going to let people do that. The court essentially told law courts to read the state constitution and their decisions and then do what the law says. Not only did she win her own freedom, but she also was the means for assuring freedom for all the others as well that uh, were held by these unjust laws. Over the years, Mary Clark's Indiana Supreme Court decision has been cited favorably more than 20 times in various federal and state courts. For example, there's a 1964 Connecticut case in a U.S. Court of Appeals in which the lawyers and judges used language that is strikingly similar to what the judges said in Mary's case 144 years earlier. The living legacy continued in 2009 when a state historical marker was unveiled in Vincennes to honor Mary Bateman Clark. This is the culmination of 25, 30 years of effort. Definitely Had a lot of your of family it. came down. They were all uh, parked out here under the uh, friends uh, and family and co-workers and yeah, we, big it was, yeah, it was a big turnout for the actual installation. It was a large effort here to get this done, and and for that I'm so grateful that so many people were involved in this. This is a good thing to have this here to remind people of of this case. Yes, it is. It is. As I look back over 200 years of Indiana history and the struggle for equality, it seems to me that the cases of Polly and of Mary become even more important. Their courage and their significance are essential to who we are today as Hoosiers. All through the history, there have been these, these leaders, these warriors that have uh, put their, their, their selves on the line to to fight for this freedom. And Mary Clark, she was a fighter for liberty uh, and is to be honored for that. I better get back in your own this Sunday school lesson. Y'all caught me doing this and Sunday morning come quicker than quick and I won't have nothing done. So I need to get on back to what I was doing when you snuck up in here. But don't go nowhere. You can stay here as long as you want to. You can pray anywhere in this church you want to, to Stay, anybody ask you? Tell them Mary Bateman Clark, wife of Brother Samuel, said you could stay right here and enjoy this here church any kind of way you want to. Yes, indeed. Lord have mercy. I gotta get busy. I just gotta get busy. Coming for to care.